Good morning, everybody. My name is Jared Cepeda. I am the son of Roberto and Betty Cepeda. I had the privilege of going through the AIM program and the SIBI program uh, years back, and I'm studying my master's in divinity at the moment. And I have the privilege of, of working with ELEB. I've been uh, uh, fortunate enough to start working with them this year, and I'm raising funds and raising support, raising partners to be able to work with them full time. Um, and this morning, I just want to be able to share some great stories that Roberto and Betty are going to share with you today, and I'm just going to have the privilege to translate for them. Así que papás, pues digan sus historias. Gracias, ya nos presentó Jared, así que voy a contar eh, lo, cómo fue nuestro inicio en el ILE. As Jared, my son Jared already introduced us, I just want to let you all know how was our beginnings as the ELEB was starting. Primero, empecé con el deseo de trabajar en la iglesia de tiempo completo porque sentí el llamado de Dios muy fuerte en mi vida. Uh, as, as I became a Christian, I realized that I had this calling, very strong calling from God uh, to work full time for the church. Dejé mi trabajo sin tener ninguna seguridad de cómo iba a, a sostener a mi familia, pero Dios abrió las puertas y hubo un hermano que quiso sostenernos cuando yo decidí trabajar el tiempo completo para, para Dios. I decided to quit my job and I, I had no guarantee of any support or any uh, funding that would come along for my, me and my family, but I knew the brothers kept on telling me that God was going to provide and uh, Lord answered and he gave us uh, somebody who was willing to support us when I quit my job. Y ya estaba trabajando en el instituto, digo perdón, en la iglesia, cuando se abrió la posibilidad de estudiar este, en el instituto, de, de que el instituto iniciaba en Toluca. And I was already working for the church full time when the opportunity started for ELEB uh, to begin. Y en ese tiempo eh, empezamos a estudiar mi esposa y yo Fuimos eh, la primera generación de estudiantes, pero por el trabajo que yo tenía y por las responsabilidades en la iglesia, no pude terminar con la primera generación. So, as we started, my wife and I were part of the first uh, graduating class from ILE, but because of my overwhelming work with the church, I wasn't able to graduate with the first graduating class, so I had to wait for the next one. Mi esposa sí se graduó con la primera generación y yo me gradué con la tercera generación. My wife was able to graduate in the first graduating class, but I had to graduate until the third graduating class. Y cuando estaba estudiando ya para casi para terminar, recuerdo que el director de aquel momento, que era Jody Jones, me preguntó si después de muchas pláticas que si yo me quería quedar como director del instituto y me dijo, es fácil, solo vas a tener que organizar algunas juntas, pagar los este, impuestos, pagar a los proveedores y todo, todo es fácil, no pasa nada. Me engañó como un chino. As I was, as I was finishing my, my studies in the third graduating class, the uh, former director at that time, Jody Jones, uh, had a meeting with me and invited me and told me that he would like for me to be able to uh, step in as in the role of a director for for Ilev, and he told me that it was going to be a simple job, that it was all going to be meetings and, and some admin work, uh, but I, I was fooled because it was a lot more work than he let me know at the time. Y desde entonces, este, yo le dije que cuando terminara, me graduara de, la, de, de, de mis estudios, entonces podía ser director. Y desde entonces hasta la fecha, he estado trabajando como director en el instituto y he visto cómo Dios ha hecho grandes cambios en las vidas de muchas personas. So, so after prayer and, and talking through, I, I agreed that I was going to step into that role only after I graduated. And ever since I graduated from 11 and, and started stepping in, in this role as director, I've been the director all the way till now. And I've seen how God has been changing many, many lives. Y precisamente mi esposa quiere contarles de una historia de alumnos que se están recién estudiando. And it's exactly in that sense that my wife wants to share a short story about some of the students we have currently. Es increíble como la gente que a veces tiene menos recursos, menos facilidades en tecnología, es la gente que más quiere trabajar y quiere estudiar para el Señor. 
It amazes me that the people that have the least amount of resources and the least amount of accessibility to do all these kinds of things like study and get online are willing to do the most to be able to get access to all these resources. Porque sé que en un pueblecito en Venezuela, eh, estudiantes tienen que subir hacia el cerro para que pueda llegar la señal y puedan estudiar. Because let me tell you about the small group of students in the small village in Venezuela who don't get a um, network for their phones and computers in their village. So they have to hike up a mountain in order to have some cell phone network or some internet access all the way on the top of the mountain so that they can join the lectures and the classes. The verdad is que esas... Uh, uh ganas que tienen los hermanos de estudiar nos entusiasman mucho para continuar con este trabajo de capacitar al pueblo de Dios. And it is exactly that the amount of excitement and the amount of commitment that all of these students all around Latin America have that it fills us with joy and purpose to continue doing the work that Elev is doing. Y queremos agradecer mucho todo el apoyo que ustedes nos dan y queremos pedirles sus oraciones para que este trabajo que hacemos en el LE pueda continuar y podamos capacitar a muchas más personas para el servicio del Señor. And all we want to do is just say thank you. Thank you so much for all the support and all the prayers that you have been doing for us. And we ask you, please continue to pray for us as we try to equip all of the brothers and sisters in Latin America so that we can keep changing lives and saving souls. Muchas gracias por su apoyo por sus oraciones, por todo lo que hacen para la gloria de Dios. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for all that you do so that we together can glorify God. Por favor, oren mucho por nosotros para que Dios siga abriendo las puertas y cada vez podamos llegar a más lugares para enseñar y eh, capacitar líderes para que estén al frente de las congregaciones de la Iglesia de Cristo. Please continue praying for us so that every day, every moment, we can reach even more places in Latin America and we can continue equipping more leaders so that all the churches of Christ in Latin America can go out and preach the word. Dios los bendiga. May God bless you.